Hey everybody, how's it going? Josh here, and today we're going to talk about how Captain Marvel may connect to the Soul Realm, and it's actually in a way that you may not expect. So in the Captain Marvel film, kind of, it's the main lead-in in some ways you could say, before we get to Avengers 4. So a lot of people are assuming something that happens in this film will be something that's brought up again in Avengers 4, whether it's a concept, dialogue, anything like that, or even characters, obviously, besides just Captain Marvel herself. And during the trailer, the trailer number two, I guess you could say, for Captain Marvel, we received some very interesting scenes featuring a mystery woman. And a lot of people had no idea who this person was. There's still rumors out there that it's Marvel, but a female version of Marvel, similar to how we had a female version of the Ancient One. But I personally believe that it's the Supreme Intelligence. And the reason why I say this is because the Supreme Intelligence is a very, not iconic, but very important figure to Kree culture. So it makes almost no sense to me that they would do the Kree, they would do Captain Marvel, all that stuff, yet not include the Supreme Intelligence, because that's one of the few characters that really makes the Kree unique within the greater MCU, or I guess Marvel in general, cosmology, with regards to different alien species here and there. Like the scrolls had their shape shifting, the Kree had the Supreme Intelligence, and that's kind of one of those things that just is always with the characters to some degree. Now if this mystery lady is the MCU versions of the Supreme Intelligence, or MCU version, not versions, then that'd be really interesting because the Supreme Intelligence is basically a supercomputer. So maybe in this version, it's a very advanced quantum computer. Which, you know, quantum computing is something that's currently being studied here in the modern day. So for a super advanced alien civilization, I guess it wouldn't be too far-fetched that they not only achieved quantum computing, but have a very advanced version of it. And this could be maybe why the Kree had a device that exposes Carol to energy that I personally believe is quantum realm energy. Because maybe that quantum realm energy is integral to their quantum computing. And I know like I'm literally taking quantum at face value here, there's a lot more to quantum computing and stuff like that than, you know, basically the fact that it has the name quantum associated with it. but. It's Marvel Comics, I don't really think they go too deep with these kind of things. So a lot of times the dots can connect if you believe they can connect based on face value for some things. Now, like I said before, this could be why the Kree have a device that is associated with the quantum realm to some degree with regards to quantum realm energy because the quantum realm is confirmed to be in this film in some capacity. So it's possible that the Kree for the Supreme Intelligence upload the consciousness of the greatest minds in their society, whether they're thinkers, engineers, poets, philosophers, whatever have you. If they're the greatest minds in their society, their minds upon death are uploaded to Supreme Intelligence to help further advance the Supreme Intelligence, evolve the Supreme Intelligence, to lead the Kree culture. And the transference of consciousness to a different realm, like a quantum realm of sorts, even if it's a mini pocket quantum realm, to me, it's kind of similar to how souls go to the ancestral plane in Black Panther, whether it be upon their death, if they are the Black Panther at the time, or whether it be from them simply inhaling the heart-shaped herb and going through the ritual that they do in the Black Panther movie. And that's really interesting to me because another thing we know is that the Soul Stone, based on the comics at least, has its own realm where souls are transferred. And a huge leading theory right now is that Avengers Endgame will bring everybody back to life because they're not really dead, instead they're transferred to this soul stone realm. So I think it'd be really interesting if they laid a potential foundation down in Captain Marvel for the ability to transfer consciousness to a different realm and vice versa, maybe transfer it back. Because maybe the Supreme Intelligence is a transferring of consciousness to this quantum realm sort of plane of existence and then they, from there they transfer it back to a human avatar. So maybe Carol Danvers being exposed to quantum energy, because in the movie they kind of hint that they're kind of basically developing their, what's the word I'm looking for here, kind of combing, kind of raising Carol to become this new big being amongst other beings. So it's possible that maybe Carol's ability to manipulate quantum realm energy or just energy in general is integral to her being the next of a line of supreme intelligences. So maybe it's a situation where consciousness from all these great minds in Kree culture and Kree history, they're uploaded to this supercomputer of sorts, this quantum realm or mini quantum realm of sorts, and then from there, they're vice versa, uploaded 
to a human avatar that is primed to handle this kind of thing. And you would assume it to be primed for this kind of thing, you would have to be able to handle quantum energy or energy of some kind, which almost makes Carol kind of a perfect avatar of sorts to become the next supreme intelligence based on what I'm saying. So this would be really awesome to see in this film because it basically, you know, we've gotten the foundation in Doctor Strange, we've gotten the foundation for Black Panther, that not only can people go to different realms, whether it be magical means or other means, but people can go to a spiritual plane of existence outside of their body, a different realm, and they can come back. And what this would do is build up on each of those things and have it so Carol will witness, and maybe this will come into play later, but show witness not only can people's souls and consciousness go to a different realm of existence, and then they themselves, if they're that person just viewing and visiting, I guess you could say, not only can they go to that realm and then come back, but that consciousness can not only be transferred to that realm, but it can be transferred back as well. Which may be kind of the key to convincing everybody in the Avengers and Ant-Man, all those people, that not only can we go across space-time, whether it's time travel or parallel universes, but we can bring back people from the soul world, even without the soul stone. Even, even though I'm pretty sure you'll need the soul stone just because they have no bodies at this point, so you'll probably have to make everybody new bodies again. But comment below your guys' thoughts, what do you guys think about this? I know it's a very kind of, you know, out there theory, but it's just something I thought about when I was reading on Supreme Intelligence and Captain Marvel and all that stuff. It'd be kind of far out there, but I think it'd be a really interesting plot line if Carol Danvers is almost being primed to become a new Supreme Intelligence amongst a long line of Supreme Intelligences. And that's kind of why maybe she's kind of doing her own thing. And also in the comics, the end of the Supreme Intelligence is one of the things that makes Ronan the Accuser kind of go rogue. So it'd be interesting to see if they adapt that to be another reason amongst many that basically Ronan the Accuser kind of gives up on the Kree government and does his own thing and becomes a terrorist. But comment below what you guys thoughts, what do you guys think, and I'll see you